Now today we get to combine two of my favourite things, tasting wine and eating cheese. I'm in heaven. We're on a Queenstown wine trail tour. Now everything in moderation I say, it is after 12, that's pretty moderate in my book. Let's go see what's on offer. Queenstown offers easy access to the central Otago region of New Zealand's South Island, which is renowned for its cool climate wines. This tour visits a selection of boutique wineries, including Amersfield Wines, and I'm keen to learn more about two of the region's signature drops, Pinot Noir and Riesling. So we're on the 45th parallel south, 45th parallel north is Burgundy in France, and that's where Pinot Noir originates from. So by having it on the same latitude, You've got a really good base for lovely warm days and really cold nights and that's what the Pinot Noir needs and that's what it thrives on. The Riesings love this part of the world because of the soil type that they're in so they do thrive on that and it really comes through with the wine. Most people tend to think that they're sweet however you can get lovely dry, um, lovely crisp apple characteristics of the Riesing and they really are starting to make a comeback which is pretty exciting. Our next stop is Gibston Valley, home to both a winery and a cheesery. Gibston Valley has some of the region's oldest high altitude vines, alongside New Zealand's largest wine cave. We enjoy a tasting in the atmospheric setting, which includes a signature Pinot Noir. It's nice, very oaky. So beautiful, in fact, that a sale is made. It's just a wine cork's throw from the cave to the Gibston Valley Cheesery, which specialises in sheep, cow and goat's milk cheeses, handcrafted in traditional European style. We opt for an optional guided cheese tasting and work our way through a variety of award-winning cheeses. For more ideas for amazing things to see and do on the South Island, just visit our website.